What's gonna be the best MagSafe car charger for your iPhone? It's gonna be one of these. My name's Aaron The Ho. I've been reviewing iPhone accessories for almost 10 years now. And these are my top picks for MagSafe uh, car chargers. I went and bought products from Otterbox, Belkin, YOLO, Mouse, Ghost Tech, ESR, a random Amazon brand, Scosh, Anchor, and iAudi. For this top 10 list, I've rated each product against charge speeds, the level of adjustability, the strength of the MagSafe connection, charge temperature, and bonus features. Now there's actually one setup that is faster than any sort of a MagSafe car mount that I'm gonna show you in this video. It's a little unconventional, but it is the fastest solution if you wanna charge your iPhone as fast as possible in your car. So keep watching. Number 10 goes to the Belkin Boost Charge Magnetic Wireless Car Charger, and in general, the Adage. Adage, Adagi, Adage, I don't know, A-D-A-G-E. You get what you pay for is not true for this product. The Belkin product is one of the most expensive on my list, and it performs incredibly poorly. The iPhone comes off easily, and the charge rates are so slow. The only redeeming factor for this product is, Number nine goes to the YOLO Volt 15 watt magnetic wireless charging car mount. And I had such high hopes for this product because YOLO makes great products. Their non-MagSafe YOLO car mount was one of the best. But with the MagSafe version, I put my iPhone on it and basically a strong sneeze might cause it to come off. Now, if it wasn't for this flaw, this product would have ranked much, much higher because it has decent charge speeds and it comes with a bunch of extras like including both dash and vent mounts. Number eight goes to the mouse car mount. This car mount had one of the strongest MagSafe connections. It feels very solid and comes with a USB-A, USB-C adapter. But this dash mount doesn't offer a lot of adjustability. A lot of these other products have like telescoping arms and whatnot. that just like a little nub that comes off of your dash. I do like the feature where the cable is attached to the charge pad, which eliminates any sort of potential disconnects. I do love mouse cases, but I'm not a fan of the mouse uh, car charger. If you want to see what I think are the best iTeam 14 cases and covers, well, check out the link in the cards. Number seven belongs to the Ghost Tech Energy Mount. And like the YOLO mounts, had the makings of a great product, but had one massive flaw. The charge speeds are terrible. Even though it says 15 watt maximum charge, this product charged my iPhone and my test at five watts. Now the biggest draw for me is the price. It's the cheapest on the list and it comes with both dash and vent mount accessories which is a big bonus but it's super slow so that's why it's number seven number six goes to the esr haylock dashboard magnetic wireless car charger now products like ghost tech and yolo had their scores bumped up because they came with a ton of extras the esr haylock despite being a fast charger doesn't include anything it's a box and a charger that's it no cables no car adapter no base mounting plate. Yeah, nothing. And like, it's not that cheap either. Like it's pretty expensive, but that's okay. They include this piece of paper with a bunch of cute little, I don't know, characters telling you what charger to buy. Adjusting this thing is awesome too. Number five goes to this random Amazon brand and random Amazon brands generally very suspect, but this was a pleasant surprise. This brand called Wolfalo had a very strong connection between the iPhone and the charge pad and has actually one of the better vent mount designs. There's a hook on the back of the vent mount that secures the mount behind one of the actual vents. This design feature minimizes the chance that your entire mount setup is gonna fall, which actually happens more often than not with traditional vent mounts. The charge pad also feels well built because of the aluminum case. Now this charger claims to have 15 watts of wireless charging, but because it's not made for MagSafe, it only charges my iPhone in my test at seven and a half watts. This thing also runs incredibly hard Hot, which is a bad thing for a vent mount. Wolfalo also includes a metal ring, which you can attach to non MagSafe devices to use with the charger, which is kind of handy. Number four goes to the OtterBox wireless charger car mount for dash and windshield. This is the first product that's above average as it is well built, provides above average charge speeds, runs cool, and doesn't feel like a chunk of cheap plastic. It still feels like plastic, but it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. Like, you know how some things just feel cheap? This thing doesn't. Now Otterbox doesn't try to pull the wool over our eyes with the charge speeds and just says it's seven and a half watts. And it does charge at seven and a half watts. Actually is one of the faster chargers at seven and a half watts. The cherry on top of this product is the glow in the dark ring. Makes it a little easier to see when it's a little dark. The one downside I've noticed is that mounting my iPhone this way is significantly weaker than mounting it this way. So do keep that in mind if you use your iPhone in landscape orientation a lot this OtterBox product might not be the one for you. If you're finding this top 10 list useful, consider getting all your stuff through my links. No one's paying me to do this video. All the products here I've gone and purchased myself because I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. That's what I do. Anyways, onto the top three. Number three goes to the Scosh Magic Mount Pro Charge 4. There is a Pro Charge 5 version, but I couldn't find it in Canada. This Pro Charge 4 version, I had to go in store. I couldn't even order online. I could physically walk into a store and buy it. I don't know why they keep saying that they're the number one mountain brand because they're not. Why is it so hard to buy things from you, Scosh? The Magic Mount Pro Charge 4 reaches the top three because of its extra features. Scosh provides you with vent and dash mounts, cable clips, dual car port adapter, and the ability to mount a non-MagSafe device. Like that's incredibly useful for households or people who share cars that have MagSafe iPhones and non-MagSafe devices. Like that's just so smart, Mag. Scosh, you're just so smart. 
The biggest downside of this product is that it's below average in terms of charge speeds by a hair and the MagSafe connection isn't as strong as the other chargers in the top five. Number two goes to the one with the biggest box, which is the Anchor 613 Mago Magnetic Wireless Car Charger. This thing is like $70, so after I tell you all the good things about it, let me know if you're willing to pay $70 for it. Now, the first thing I noticed about this Anchor MagSafe car charger was the smoothness of the arm. Anchor uses a friction joint, so the movement is smooth, unlike that ESR mount, which is clicky. The second thing that I noticed was that Anchor incorporated the power cable into the arm of the mount. It comes out of the base. Anchor also includes wire clips, which helps with the cable management of the mount. The entire setup in my car just looks so clean with all the accessories that Anchor includes. The physical design coupled with the extremely fast charge speeds and the strong magnetic connection really justifies the higher price tag from my perspective. Now, the only thing I don't like about this product is that you can only mount it on your dash. It doesn't actually work on your windshield. So if you've been mounting stuff on the glass of your car, then this isn't gonna work for you. Number one goes to the IATI V-Locks. And I was very surprised at the V-Locks when I first got it. Why? Because it really didn't feel like a car mount. It has a matte coating to it. The charge head pivots on a friction mount rather than a ball and socket cap mount. And the cable is built in the charge pad. It just feels incredibly well built. Now, not all of that is just nice to have. The reason why it's at the top of my list is that it's the fastest charger. It's capped at seven and a half watts, but it's just as fast as a normal MagSafe compatible charger. Most of the chargers that I tested were on average 10% slower than normal MagSafe chargers, but not this product. The cherry on top of this was that despite being the fastest in my test group, it also ran the coolest. So yeah, I'm not sure how that works. So this is the best MagSafe car charger. Now it's not, if you want the fastest, well, this is what you have to do. You're gonna have to use Apple's own MagSafe charger and a 20 watt charger. Now to mount it into the car, Spigen has these things called MagSafe safe mounts, which you can tuck your MagSafe charger in. Now, if you've got an actual outlet in your car, then this is gonna be awesome, but I don't because my car is old as F, so I've got a 12 volt converter to plug my 20 watt charger in. I could use a quick charge 3.0 car adapter, but I didn't get the charge speeds that I wanted. Slap everything together and voila, you've got the world's fastest MagSafe car charging setup. Now I won't lie to you, going that route is going to be very, very pricey because the MagSafe charger itself is like 40 bucks. Your 20 watt charger is like, what, 25 bucks. You got to buy that converter, which is another like 100 bucks. So you're talking like $150 setup. But if you want the fastest magnetic wireless charging for your iPhone, then that's the setup that you need to get. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Questions, comments, if there is a product that you think I missed, let me know in the comments section below and maybe I'll go find it. First time watching my videos, subscribe, get your stuff through my links. It's the best way to keep my channel unsponsored. So thanks for watching.